uh, anagram of string so given two strings s1 and s2 in lowercase the task is to make them anagram okay okay the only allowed operation is to remove a character from any string find the minimum number of characters to be deleted to make both the strings anagram two strings are called anagram to each other if one of them can be converted into another one by rearranging its letters right okay so uh, let's uh, discuss what is an anagram so suppose we are having an s1 which is equal to say a b c and s2 is equal to say c a b these strings are not equal but they are anagrams because we are having one number of a in both of this one number of b in both of this one number of c in both of this so we just rearranged like we move the c to here and s1 becomes s2 so that what means by anagram so if we were having a c here and we were having a d here so this time the c count becomes 2 but our c count is still 1 here and we are having an extra d so this means s1 and s2 is not anagram so that's the uh, a simple uh, definition for uh, an anagram uh, now uh, let's take two example so we are having s1 let's say we are having s1 uh, which is equal to what's it b c a d e h b c a d e h now s2 is equal to h e a so h e a now let's uh, uh, try to uh, count how many uh, like the occurrences of each of this so we are having a b and b is occurring one time okay we are having a c and c is occurring one time we are having a a a is occurring one time we are having d d is occurring one time we are having e e is occurring one time we are having h h is occurring one time this is about s1 now for s2 h h is occurring one time e e is occurring one time a a is occurring one time so that's cool but they are not anagram we need uh, like we can see the length of this one is 6 and uh, length of this one is 3 so in order to have two strings to be anagram their length has also needs to be the same so we need to remove some characters from this such that they become anagram so here h let's say it here its count is 1 here also its count is 1 so we don't want to remove that i am just striking off because that's uh, already uh, in a position of uh, the anag anagram string okay so here also e, e is occurring one time here also e is occurring one time a a is occurring one time a is occurring one time so there is b c and d that need to be deleted okay that need to be deleted such that we will be having a e h here and h e a here and those characters the length is same and the count of each of the uh, letters is also same so that's uh, what we are looking for just take the count and do that so we can make use of a hash map here but since uh, the question says like you mm, of 26 yeah there is only a lower lower case so we only we can make use of a array of size 26 so uh, let's have an array of size 26 so what i will be doing means let's say i'm having an array of size 26 one two three and dot 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 dot, dot. this will be the 25th index this will be the zero index so let's uh, take another and uh, try to put it here okay so c d d g k so s1 is so s1 is is 25 so c d d h k 
what the other one is gcd okay so this is g c d so now to find the index of this character c like we will be doing c minus a so that means uh, like this is having an uh, ascii of say 97 and this will be having an ascii of 98 okay so 98 uh, sorry 99 so 98 minus 97 will come out to be 2 and our c is in the second index like say a b c c o 0 1 2 so in the second index we will be putting 1 same way for d we will be doing d minus the character a uh, in order to have the zero based indexing so d will be at this position okay its count is increased 1 again we are having d so its count is increased again 1 and it becomes 2 now we have h and h will be somewhere uh, like assume that is somewhere here and it is which will be having a count 1 now k k is uh, somewhere here assume and it is also having a count 1 okay so now we are done with s1 now just move to the s2 and uh, we see that we are having a g and just make g1 we are having a c and c is here so just subtract the count so this will be so in s2 like whatever characters we see we are doing a minus one so the g will be minus one in this case okay okay so see uh, okay now d d is here and we are subtracting one and this becomes one now we just loop through this array and see whether uh, the elements are zero if the elements are zero if the number is zero it's okay but if there are not zero if it is it can be some positive numbers can be some negative numbers so just count how many like their count and that will be our answers and that will be the letters to be removed so that's the uh, basic logic now let's uh, try to apply this logic so let's have if s1 dot equals of s2 already if both s1 and s2 are equal then there is nothing to be deleted so say okay so say zero now length 1 is equal to s1 dot length in length 2 is equal to s2 dot length fine now uh, we need uh, the frequency array frequency array and so size 26 because 26 characters so 26 now for each of the character from first string first string care from s1 dot to care array what we are doing we are incrementing the count so frequency of first string care minus a this is in order to handle the zero base indexing if you don't want to do uh, like uh, go uh, directly we can just add 256 but there is no uh, need of uh, considering 256 characters because it will be including the numbers the lower case the upper case the special characters everything but we only uh, the specifically says that the, there will be only lower case so we can just have 26 and uh, do a minus a and uh, we we'll, this will be uh, like converted to uh, internally converted to zero based indexing so now uh, we're done with the first character or well, first string now go for the second string for care second string care from s2 dot to care array so frequency of second string care minus a we are doing a minus one okay now we need the count right so int count of string to delete let it be zero so now we go through this frequency array first of all each of the freak from uh, the frequency okay if freak is not equal to zero and this is the time where we are incrementing our count of string to delete 
so count of string to delete plus equal to 1 finally just return this count of string to delete now uh, the space complexity like uh, here we are just making use of an extra space of size 26 so the space complexity will be big of 26 and we can it's 26 is a constant so it's a uh, big of one space complexity now for uh, time complexity we are traversing through the uh, the first string um, s1 so it's length is length one so big of length one plus we are going through the second string so big of length two plus the 26 character so the total time complexity will be big of length one plus length two plus 26 yeah and that 26 can be neglected because it's a constant so yeah uh, we are getting a compilational okay it's frequency my bad uh, okay so we are getting three three now let's also try to have this c d d C D D G K <coughs> and G C D. Here also we need to get two. Okay, two. Let's submit. And we're getting wrong here. So B B is occurring one time, two time, here also two time. So let's uh, try this example and see where we are lagging. It's correct output is 11, but we are getting only okay so let me also try to print what is the frequency that we are getting okay okay so one two three four five six Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it's okay. Okay, I got it. Uh, three plus one, four plus one, five, five plus one, six plus one, seven plus two, nine, plus two, eleven. 3 minus 1, 2 minus 1, 1, minus 1, minus 3, we are, we are lagging, we need to uh, remove that much, so it will be 2, 1, plus 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 1, uh, So we need to get rid of all these three A's. Uh, plus one, four, plus one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we need to increase that count. Like I was just incrementing by one. But now that's not the case. We need to increment that much because here A is occurring three times, and we need to remove all these three A's. But uh, but, but the logic that I explained was just to increment by one, and that will uh, give us the wrong answer. So that's not required. We need to increment by that frequency, whatever the frequency that is left, and it's absolute value because uh, in S two like we are decreasing so this will pass this will surely will pass there is no change in the uh, time complexity or space complexity it remains the same but the logic like uh, what i told was just increment by one you know 
just increment by whatever the frequency it's absolute value so yeah thank you